Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we are going to talk about Darlington transistors. So first we're going to do just a really quick recap of a standard NPN transistor. We have our collector, our emitter, and our base. So when we put a small current into the base that flows from the base emitter junction, it induces a larger current in the collector emitter junction, allowing the transistor to act as a uh, amplifier. And we call that the gain. And the gain of... of uh, a standard transistor, for instance, a little 2N2222 is, you know, somewhere in the area of 275 times or so. And the forward voltage drop is about 0.65 volts. Now, our Darlington transistor basically just consists of two, and we're talking about NPN here, basically the same thing for PNP transistors, just backwards. So our Darlington transistor is a pair of transistors where the gain of the first transistor is further amplified by the gain of the second transmitter. And right here, this junction, this collector junction, is called the common collector junction. So they share the collector voltage. Now, when we pass our small current in here, it's amplified by the first one, that passes through the emitter into the base of the second one and is further amplified and we get a larger gain. The gain of a Darlington pair can be over a thousand times. So they're incredibly useful, but they do have disadvantages. Remember we said the diode drop of the single silicone junction here is 0.65 volt well the diode drop the forward voltage of your darlington is going to be generally around 1.3 volts and that is going to cause an increase in dissipated power and how do electronics dissipate power well they dissipate them through heat so that's a buildup of heat and that is wasted energy so to uh, calculate our gain, it is going to be the gain of transistor 1 times the gain of transistor 2 plus the gain of transistor 1 plus the gain of transistor 2. So you can see we have the product plus the sums and that is what allows us to get such an incredible gain. And of course, our voltage drop, our VBE base emitter junction, is equal to VBE1 plus VBE2. So that's why you see we have that 0.65 plus 0.65 and that's going to give us about 1.3 so that's what's going to cause our increase in heat but they are incredibly useful and the the biggest benefit of them is such an incredibly small amount of current is all that's needed to turn them on they can be used in a lot of applications and they're safe for skin contact so if you have a touch switch on your desk it's probably using a Darlington transistor to turn it on. 
Of course, they're also used in relays anywhere where you're going to need higher switching. But the two things you have to overcome are going to be that large forward voltage drop and the dissipated heat. Now, in a little mea culpa moment, I was all set up here to do a couple of demonstrations. I had my uh, 2N2222, and then I bought some uh, <laughs> Darlington transistors. But being the eternal absent-minded professor, I bought PNPs so my circuits wouldn't match up. So can't show you a demonstration, but I hope you like the theory. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, especially the new patrons. Thank you guys for coming on board and supporting the channel and keeping it alive. It's appreciated more than I can tell you. I love doing this. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm out. Peace.